action. So yeah. Ayo. Uh, Actually, no, stop, stop. Do it again. We, One, action. Hey, Michelle, did you see? What the hell? No. This wasn't there when we were in Begin. <laughs> I'm sorry. Action. Oh my god, have mercy. God. No, not. I have a reached conclusion. Give me space. Okay. <laughs> Action. You can't smile. You really Sorry. can't smile. <laughs> and like from from your close by your mouth. Ah. With braces. <laughs> very scary. Yes. Very intimidating. That's why, that's why he's been hit. Exactly. <laughs> metal up, you metal back. More transmission. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So like at the end, you like a smile. So we saw your braces out. <laughs> All right. If you say so. Oh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> and action. And we have decided that since they cannot beat us, they join us. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's rolling. And here we go. Oh. The cameras are rolling, things are going, and action! <laughs> Come on, slap them, slap them, slap them! Fight us! Come on, like, fight back, man, fight back, fight back! Like, come on, fight back! Okay, now scramble out of there, scramble out of there! And go! Run, 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 run! Oh crap, crap, go back, go back. Well, you see, he just kind of, he, he leaped out of the bowl and went straight in my nose. Oh, cut. Damn it. What was it that? Damn it. Again. Punches the lane. <laughs> Action. Whoa, shoot. No, you don't go into the locker. Action. <laughs> David Hollins, the director, asked me if I wanted to be involved in his movie. And I read the script and didn't think it was perfect, but it had potential. I, it, I just, you know, come into grade 10 at Canterbury and I was just sitting there and I was thinking, gee, I really want to do my first film, you know, my first official film that I could call official, because before that I was doing stuff like like things where I would film stuff, edit it, but I would use like all like all temp music and like stuff from other films. And, and I really felt bad doing that even though it was entertaining. So I, I started to think, pushing around ideas, and telling the I bumped into like one of the techies, and I was like, like, oh, she, and someone told me that there was a techie, and I'm like, oh, techie, and then suddenly the, the word, you know, techie, and, and suddenly I just fell in love with it, so I decided to make a film about techies, and then I was thinking, okay, well, how can I spoof this off in a good way, or how can I make a film about techies that's 
could seem just a bit fresh. Mm-hmm. And, and I started to listen to some of the rumors about techies that were in the school. One, one of the things were that they're, you know, oh, they're all vampires, or they're all, you know, they all hide in dark corners. That's what they always do. Mm-hmm. So I decided to go completely against that with Night of the Drones and have them, like, you know, all creepy and, like, you know, still and with, them, you know, the wires and stuff. So I decided to go that and combine, you know, elements of the Matrix, the um, Star Trek with the Borg, you know, all, like mostly everything, mostly all these sci-fi villains. So anyway, <clears throat> and then what happened was I met uh, Charles, Charles Duarte, in mm-hmm. my math class, and we both started, and, I, and I told him my idea, and he's really interested in film as well. And so we just um, decided to make the film. So I wrote script, couple, took a couple of drafts, and finally, you know, we were on our way. Uh, I started. Um talking with David Hollins about the story and I came up with some kind of interesting ideas. We both came from different backgrounds and so I think we just put some stuff together and we came up with a really cool story. Just one day uh, David asked me and Lit if I wanted to help or a long time ago I signed up to help and I had never really received any feedback after I got the script and then he just approached me and Lit and asked if I could join. The actors were all just like, you know, friends from, mostly from my lit class and people who I used to know, knew, know from a previous school. And I had worked with David previously in another movie he had tried to make and that one didn't really get off the, off the, uh, off, off foot, but uh, it was a lot of fun. It really was. I was just standing there and, and I, I heard that some lawyers were talking about how it was an all-male set and, and they needed to balance it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and I, I was forced to join. The director, David Hollins, he approached me and uh, he asked if I wanted to be in it and I said, sure, why not? I have nothing better to do other than homework, but that doesn't matter. Like, originally, I read the script for Night of the Drones and, you know, it was like the like, first love, man, you know? I read it and uh, I loved it. And uh, I first started to cast as just an ordinary techie and uh, then after everybody started bitching and complaining and leaving, and uh, we got a few new actors, and Dave came up to me and said, well, you know, there might be a different role for you, and uh, how would you like to be Techie 1? And at first I was kind of overwhelmed, because I didn't know how good an actor I was, but I uh, said, hell, sure. Being my first official film and all, I, I, I'd kind of, throughout the years of editing and stuff, other films, I kind of developed a technique of, you know, knowing that you had to get a lot of coverage, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of footage in order to be able to cut it together and to know that you had to shoot one direction then another direction in order to be able to cut well. Otherwise, you know, you'd have jump cuts all over the place with like, a, you know, oh, he's here and now he's there, you know. most memorable moment on the set for me was probably scaring the crap out of Charles when I, uh, when we had to do the scene where the techies got him from behind or probably, uh, having to come up with spontaneous names for for Kira and Caitlin at the for the first scene in the movie where I had to call them jingles and <laughs> fishy buns. So, so um, yeah, I really enjoyed that part. The all male cast was originally a decision made because um, it's about techies, you know what I'm saying? But why can't techies be female too? I don't understand. They're asexual. And girls are a little too feminine. And the male body is the ideal asexual body? Where's the justice? I don't understand this. I was outraged. I like the wires. <laughs> and the whole wire scene where uh, all of us kind of put our hands in the middle, that was, that was pretty fun. <laughs> Wearing the wires? Mine kept falling off, and I don't know if anybody ever realized it. Well, I didn't see it when I, when I was watching the movie. I didn't actually uh, notice that my hands were wireless at some points in time, but a lot of the time uh, they just kept slipping off. Crap, it's falling out. Oh, I don't know if my, my, the tips of my fingers sweat profusely when I'm under pressure or anything like that, but uh, uh, the pieces of wire kept falling off and that was becoming a, a problem. They kept kind of falling off, but uh, other than that, they were fine. The wires were great. Um, they they kind of got in the way when you're trying to uh, get them off and everything, but uh, they they were fun to scare people with and just just have fun with the other uh, the other um, actors and everything. Wires. Oh, that was awesome! It's like I have the power of the wires and the techiness, ability to assimilate. It's like another world, like it's techie, you know. Never done that before. And then uh, having them in my head was even worse. It's very ticklish. The wires were great. Oh my god, they were so funny. <laughs> I I didn't know if you could notice the tape on your fingers, but scaring the 
Can I say shit? Scaring the shit out of friends when they walked down the hall was hilarious. They, they didn't know what was happening, then they thought that you had, you know, fused with a printer. The wires were great. It was kind of weird though, because you couldn't really bend your fingers all the way, and so you're like constantly struggling to bend your fingers, but you couldn't because the wires were there. Oh dear, the bun. That was a challenge, because I can't do my own hair. I have very many uh, people to thank for that, as in Naria, and Katie, and Claire, and Michelle and Kaylee, as well as anyone else who happened to end up doing my hair. I think I did it once, and it was awful. <laughs> First day I got there, I was actually able to pop in a few suggestions, and David was actually listening to me, for some reason. Um, what are you doing, Jingle? <laughs> Okay, you ready? Ready? Okay, 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 good. And, yes. what, did you even know what you're supposed to be doing? Now I do. No, 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 like, Jingles, what are you doing? And then... Jingles, what are you doing? Five seconds later, we're all gonna go. Oh my god! Come on, fishy buttons! <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Okay. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, it was all going really well, and... And from that point on, I was really enjoying working on the, working on the movie. It, it was kind of frustrating at times. Do I start my lines? No, you don't. Because everyone has their own outlook on point of view. But uh, I really liked uh, David Holland's and how his style and how how he would put things together. So he, he was an okay director, I find. The shooting at the beginning, I guess it was a bit difficult because I, I admit I didn't really, I wasn't really sure what to do. Oh, I think I have some in my locker. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think I have some pencil. No, I think I have some pencil crayons in my locker. That's what the dialogue was. Yeah. I'll go get them. Yeah. But then, as it went on, you know, it was it was great fun and stuff. Yeah. And, and I really got my commanding voice. You know the, you know the oh you the must voice. yes you must go here and you must do that. The pencil crayon, do it again. Right. <laughs> it's hard to speak. All right. And speak a little bit louder, okay? Like here are the pencil crayons. All right? Here are the pencil crayons. <laughs> he told me what I had to do, and I and I was able to follow the instructions. And uh, if something was wrong, he was it wasn't too hard on, it wasn't too hard on anybody if any, anyone got anything wrong. And action. That's cool. cut down. Yeah, it was really easy to work with David. So he's not really strict or anything. He's pretty lenient. Okay, do Should it again, blink? and this time don't blink. Yeah. That's not that's not possible with me. My contacts dry out. Don't blink. I blink. Don't she that, blink. That's okay. It, it's unnoticeable for you. Don't blink. It's unnoticeable. Yeah. Okay. One, one, two, three. And uh, it was fun. Let me just explain about like what I was going for this tone of the film. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to be overly serious, overly dramatic. I just wanted it to be like you know, because I feel that if filmmakers try to create you know, like, really three-dimensional characters in every single film they do, it just comes off as flawed, you know? It comes off as, as really, just really obvious and fake. Whereas, like, for example, especially with this kind of film, all you need, really, in this kind of film is, are characters who appear, like, not, you know, modeling or whatnot, but appear as if they're just everybody. Fell over a chair. <laughs> Whoa! That was pretty fun, I have to say. No bruises from that. I'd actually been thinking of the main villain, and I thought, you know, from the, right from the start, when I was talking to Charles about the idea, we were discussing possibly doing a Matrix spoof. And I just thought, wait a minute, like Agent Smith from The Matrix, he could be like a sort of a, like, that, that could be the caricature in this film. Action. You too have proven quite elusive, Mr. Joseph. I thought of the techies as going in a system of leadership, you know, techie, you know, the, the head techie, then the, all the minions, and I thought, well, gee, you know, if techies are, techies are computer, you know, related, like they're, rob they're robots, they have computer brains, that obviously means that they go by codes and stuff, so I did, I did it this way, I had, techie one was first, I came up with that name instantly, techie one, and then all the others, like, you know, the, the, the other code name techies and whatnot. We got to like along fine. We all knew each other previous to this, so we uh, we could make a lot of jokes and crack each other up while trying to be serious. Okay, please, please. Okay. Stop g giddy, and you're like, Caitlin, can you move? <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna take my pants off if you don't start getting afraid. 
And I got that on camera, no, alright. <laughs> okay, you ready? He's done it once. Ready? And I'll do it again. And well, it was pretty cool. Especially when we had a bunch of techies on the set. Action. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Because then there was a whole bunch of people and it was like one big quiet unparty like party. Action. Who are you? Can you say it more so like no. Who are you? <laughs> like that. Who are you? Okay, ready? And action. Who are you? Okay, uh, so when you start off be like the scary yes, guy. Are. You ready? Action. Who are you? Who are you? Okay, guys. Cut, cut. Shh. Okay, ready? All sitting around, talking, laughing, eating Skittles. Good times, good times. I, I knew Dave from before, so it wasn't like I was totally, um, was, he was a complete stranger to me. It was terrible, man. I mean, I had to make friends with this, like, big asshole over here, and it was being like, man, okay, Dave, you have to act like you actually want to talk to this guy, and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> That's not how I felt at all. <laughs> this came to me as a real surprise. It wasn't more showed up. I, I asked if I can be assistant director. Kyle sort of uh, came in after a few days as sort of an assistant director type. So he didn't really do anything important. <laughs> okay, so down you go. Again. Again. I'm the way, am I? No, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah, did, did I do that again? Like, <gasps> scrolling away. <laughs> yeah, okay. Down on the ground you go. Down on the ground you go. No, no, you. Down on the ground. On the ground. You're giving me the shot! Okay, down on the ground. Just Although he did continuously threaten to take his pants off. Exactly. I see why that helps. Wait, wait, cut, 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 back up, back up, back up, sorry. John, uh, I need real terror. Come on. I'm gonna take my pants off if you don't start getting afraid. With, with girls and guys, it was like, I'm knocking over Pepsi, I'm drunk off my ass, exactly. ladies and gentlemen. It was, uh, kind of weird having Kyle around, that was kind of really annoying. No, seriously, with Kyle, man, the guy's like, you know what, man, I mean, I'm not gay, I promise, hey, Dave, you want a good shake of booty, or... Action, action, no, cut, cut, go back, go back, <laughs> too, too freaking fast, man, go back. What was that about raping you? There's no license to rape people at 18. Always oh, making his little come on at me. He once chased me down the hall in a sexual manner. He kept grabbing my ass. You kept making extremely lewd and immature jokes. I was a little premature. <laughs> do, we, do we call it premature ejaculation or what? Especially involving the techie booth, which was really creepy because we were in an enclosed space with the guy. Action! <laughs> I was already holding Okay, it. ready? Here we go. Action! <laughs> Like, okay. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay. You ready? Jerry. <laughs> ready? I said Jerry. It just wasn't a good environment to be in. Like, there wasn't that whole communal brotherly feeling. You just, you felt very vulnerable all the time and you couldn't bend over. Okay, for me, I agree with the not bending over thing, but the uh, communal brotherhood was a little too strong for my liking, actually. Kyle running around trying to scare everyone and thinking that he's really, really gay and trying to... <laughs> grab everyone's ass at the same time and that was, that was just a little uncomfortable. He was very interested in doing films and, and filmmaking and stuff like that. Well, not really doing films, but in, like in films and uh, filmmaking and stuff. Kyle was kind of a, uh, a bugger. Yeah, that, that's what I'll call him. So I started to talk to the guy and he was just like so interested in films that, you know, I knew that right away that we were going to be friends, like right there. Uh, big bugger. Uh, but uh, I, I guess he, he kept me afraid and uh, that, that 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 was good. You grabbed me oh, by the shit. neck. Yeah, I grabbed you by the neck and I just started to fucking choke you right my there. My neck was red. Oh man, yeah. like your neck was red. I'm like, Dave, what the hell are we gonna do? <laughs> your neck is yeah. red. What the fuck? I mean, Techie starts to lose the bruise. <laughs> when he came serious, cool guy and everything, but uh, the whole like constantly making the gay jokes, it was like. It, it was just like this, just like that. Imagine that every single shoot. It was terrible. He definitely crossed the line. Like, how many times can you threaten to take your pants off before people just throw you in the garbage can? And then suddenly, you know, from that point on, we started talking about how we're going to be directors, how we're going to make all these projects, and then suddenly like, we're going to start maybe even doing a project together. And then he actually asked me if I had anything going, and 
I did. The night, of the, the night of the Jones Project, which I had already started filming at that point. I was about halfway through, so I, and he asked me if he could, you know, you know, come on the set, you know, mm -hmm. do a f maybe help out with a few things. And I said, well, sure, you know, go ahead, come right on. And um, he was going to, like, help out with stuff. He, um, he, he mostly observed me, mm -hmm. but then, you know, that led, to na that led to the fact that now we're, like, doing our own films together and we're going to, we have plans and projects and stuff. So, yeah, that, that's how it happened. Mm -hmm. It was fun. I really liked doing it, and I didn't really mind uh, giving up uh, my free time like that to help out with the movie. Like after I saw the finished product on the internet, it was uh, I don't know. I, I felt kind of proud that I had signed up for it instead of just not because I could have been doing something a lot less worthwhile with my time. It made my friends, three of them, jump like more than once in the movie while they watched it, and it was great. It, they said it was sort of corny, but it's a first-time film, I think, something like that. Uh, it was it was pretty on a very low budget, high school budget. You know, that's lower than a regular budget for a movie and stuff. So it was it was great. I loved it. And fighting Matt, fighting Matt was always fun. I liked fighting Matt, fighting Matt. Same many times you can say fighting Matt in the next two minutes, fighting Matt, fighting Matt, fighting Matt. It was a great experience, and I'd do it any time. I think I have all of 10 seconds on screen. 12. 12, 12 seconds, that's right, folks, 12 whole seconds. Um, I loved it, it was great. Something to do after school, and although most of the time I was sitting on my ass, best ass-sitting time I've had in a very long time. This filming was really great, and David was just... You know, I, 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 I gotta be honest, I came in really very untalented, you know, I was just more an idea guy, and uh, I, I wasn't out, very good. He came out full of ideas that wanted to do his own project, and that shows you what kind of quality. Uh, honestly, I didn't have any ambition, like, I never thought I'd actually be a director, I was gonna give up on my dream, and, uh, David is in shouldn't. Most of the techies that, I, I, well, I haven't actually talked to any techies personally, but... Most of the techies I've heard seem to take really kindly to the film. Like, um, Tisha McComb was talking, had a copy of the film she gave to one of the techies. And, um, you know, the techie said that, that she really liked it, that it was really good. Other than that, I'm not really sure about the, re about the reception it got, at the, you know, for, from the techies. But, you know, <clears throat> I think, I, I hope to, I, I really hope that they enjoy it. Because the thing is, I, I wasn't trying to be mean to them. I wasn't trying to, like, you know, show them in a bad light. Well, 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 maybe a bit of a bad light. I don't know.